Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to ITTrap Reviewers. In this video, I have a quick little review of a product I got from BudgetGadgets.com quite a while ago. I'm sorry I didn't have this video out sooner, but uh, I've got a review for you of a solar charger for your iPhone. So it comes, it came with this little slip of paper and it's got, uh, you know, some information about it. It's got a white one displayed here. It says, can be charged up to 500 times. Maximum talk time is 40 minutes, compact and light, just 40 grams, and chargeable from AC adapter. So basically what this is, an emergency charger for your iPhone, and it is also solar powered. So if I open up my window a little bit here, uh, and I set it in it, you can see that light turns on, that means it's charging. And if you just, you're supposed to have it in direct sunlight, um, preferably like outside, not with a window, but uh, it just takes in the sunlight and converts it and charges this thing. This thing has a, like a battery in it. And then when you get your iPhone, and you you can uh, unplug this or take this top part off here like so oh i just got an email and then plug it in here and it will charge it so that is really neat it can charge this while it's charging this i guess i've never really used it like that but usually what you would do is before you go on a trip or something charge it and then plug it into your device and have it charge when you are running out low on battery now so that's that i did have some problems with it at first uh, with charging this device itself. Uh, I w it was just doing some weird things, but uh, I think I've gotten it fixed, but I didn't really mess with it that much. I just kind of tried some different things and then I got it to work. So it's kind of iffy, but if I plug this into my computer, I have this USB cord plugged into my Mac. If I plug it in, it'll charge this so that I can pre-charge. So if I don't want to have to just, you know, wait for it and s have it sit in the sun for a while, this I believe gets it done a lot faster. I think it says on this sheet here on the back it says uh, it's kind of confusing because the English isn't perfect but it says um, let's see uh, it says set a solar charger in the Sun so that it gets so that it gets sunlight at right angle once it starts charging LED light show red so obviously that's basically what I said it says it's charged in six to ten hours in good condition outside and under clear sky it takes 1.5 to 2.5 days in winter and one to 1.5 days in summer to fully charge. Kind of confusing. I don't know if, I think it's talking about this, but I, I don't know if that's how long, I don't know. I think that's just how long it takes this thing to charge, but that's to get the full uh, juice, if you will, into this. It says, uh, also it says, open the top and connect it with your mobile phone. It takes about 15 to 25 minutes to charge your mobile phone. It says if you don't have time to charge from the sun, please charge the from the AC ad adapter, and that takes about three hours. So it takes about three hours to charge this fully, so that you have a battery backup for your iPhone when you run out. So it's very convenient to have. It's tiny, and on their website, I believe it's something like four or five bucks. It's pretty cheap, and I want to thank them for sending it out free for a review. And yeah, I definitely recommend it. It is a little iffy, like the quality of it, because uh, it, like I said, it wasn't working at the beginning, or at least I wasn't doing it right, but. Uh, it's been working perfectly fine now as you just saw you can even like have it charging and then plug it in like like that and then when it plugs in your computer it won't automatically like sync and stuff so if you're on like someone else's computer and you don't want to have to quickly click that sync like the automatically sync thing I, I, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about but like where it automatically syncs your stuff and you don't want it to this kind of gets in the way of that so it can't do that which is kind of nice for me because I don't like it when it syncs and plus my iPhone's not even set up to my computer to sync anyway. So that is pretty much it for this product. It is pretty good. It can come in handy, especially if you're on the road or something. So check it out. I have a link in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Peace.